we are sneaking up on 615 and a beloved holiday tradition continues in one Portland neighborhood. That's right. Peacock Lane is now officially open <laughs> and Fox 12's Io Elise is there with all the holiday lights giving us the festive look. Good morning, Io. Good morning. Yeah, we're here in Southeast Portland on Peacock Lane, no less. I want you to take a look down the street. Now, when this is lit up tonight, from now until December, no, it's January 31st. 31st, December 31st, nightly from 6 to 11, all these homes are going to be lit up, really giving off that festive Christmas vibe that we all know and love that comes from Peacock Lane. Now, this has been happening for decades, and you've been a part of it for the last two. How would you, this is Ted Barton Barker, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Good I'm morning. Sorry. Yeah, tell me your last name one more time. Brockwood. Brockwood, I'm sorry. Um, so go ahead and tell me when, when you describe Peacock, Peacock Lane to people, how do you describe it to them? Uh, you know, we kind of generally just call it Portland's Christmas Street. It's, you know, it's a fun neighborhood thing that we've set up. It's not, you know, required or official or anything. You do it because you love it. And we just love, like, you know, the public comes out and they get, like, a fun free Christmas display. They get to see the city lit up. Well, at least a section of it <laughs> lit up. Yeah, and you know what? I, I was looking at your yard. This is easily one of my favorite <laughs> Christmas stories is the peanuts. Tell me a little bit about what inspired this. Um, so when we first moved in, we didn't have a theme or anything. It was just we, we got some lights up as quickly as we could because we moved in the week before this all started that year, 20 years ago now. <laughs> and um, after that, my wife said, I want a theme that people will, you know, recognize in an instant. And we started the Charlie Brown gang. It was just a couple of them at first, the Peanuts gang, and it kept growing and growing. And now the rule is it does not get changed. Oh, yeah. My wife is adamant that we will always be the Peanuts house. She loves the fact that she can say, oh, yeah, we're the Peanuts house. When someone asks and they just light up and start telling their stories of bringing their kids down and their kids squealing with excitement, you know, getting to see, you know, Woodstock over there and his Zamboni on, on our bird bath and... I love the whole it. whole setup. So we have changed it before a tiny bit. Yeah. Uh, we re sort of what they call reskinned them as Doctor Who one year for the 50th anniversary, <laughs> but they were still the Peanuts characters as Doctor Who characters. Yeah. And then when the Star Wars movies got rebooted, we did a small sort of sub, sub display. <laughs> well, this uh, is a lot of fun. <laughs> There's so much history on the street. Actually, Ted and I were talking earlier about all the cool, crazy stories that happen here on Peacock Lane. So we're going to be telling you about that in a minute. But again, we're going to be here at Peacock Lane showing you all the cool stuff that you can do here from 6 to 11 nightly now until December 31st. And of course, if for you back in the studio, I want you to know they are offering the hot cocoa and cider again oh, this good. year until good. December 24th. Yeah. <laughs> so saving the day, it's going to be so great. Oh. They're back to um, full capacity it's and such a, operating as yay. usual. So. Such yeah. a special tradition in our city. So great to have it back, too. Io, thank you. Thanks, Io.